Thank you, Dr. Burleson. We so appreciate his uh, ministry here. Rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say, well, congratulations. Off you go. And you go now in the spirit of 1-8. What's that? In the first chapter of Acts, verse 8, the beloved physician Luke captures the reader's attention with this go ye forth message. It's the message from our Lord. You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Witnesses. Witnesses in Jerusalem. Witnesses in Judea, in Samaria, and on to the ends of the earth. The ends of the earth. Boko Haram. You have doubtless seen the hashtag, bring back our girls. It's not only a message to a terrorist group that abducted 276 young girls from a school in northeastern Nigeria. It has become a global rallying cry. Last Sunday, Pope Francis tweeted, let us all join in prayer for the immediate release of the schoolgirls kidnapped in Nigeria. Hashtag bring back our girls. The Pope's simple example, we do what we can, even if it's only at the moment an emphatic call to justice. That's 1-8. Long before Twitter, T.S. Eliot counseled, take no thought of the harvest, but only of proper sowing. That's the spirit of 1-8. So today, my dear friends, the graduates, you're leaving the comforts of Jerusalem, our own beloved Jerusalem on the Brazos. You're heading off into the Judeas and Samarias. Samaria, college station. As I was saying, The Judeas and Samarias of a hurting world filled with injustice, places like northern Nigeria. We will be hearing from the beloved Baylor Religious Hour Choir. They will soon depart on Monday for their annual mission trip. They go to El Salvador, beautiful place. Judea, Samaria, and on to the ends of the earth. Speaking about his own 1-8 journey in his native South Africa, Nelson Mandela said, I have walked that long road to freedom. I have discovered the secret that after climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to climb. I've taken a moment to rest, but I know I can only rest for a moment. For with freedom comes responsibilities. I dare not linger, for my walk is not ended. You know, Baylor is filled already with 1-8 stories. Some of those stories may be sitting right next to you here in the Farrell Center. Yours may already be a 1-8 story such as Jolene Damaso, a member of this graduating class and graduating this afternoon. During her Baylor years, Jolene founded Mothers on the Move, a wonderful organization providing transportation to expectant mothers from remote villages in western Kenya to medical care facilities. Alumnus Brent McBurney, he took Highway 1-8, so to speak, 
to become president and CEO of Advocates International. Advocates stands with the poor and the oppressed around the world seeking justice. Recent graduate Dustin Williams boarded Flight 18, so to speak, after becoming aware of the profound need for clean water in so much of our hurting world, Dustin and his classmates launched right here on our campus the Baylor Wells Project. They knew and they taught us that if people have access to pure water, their lives and the lives of their precious children can change. Our consider, so to speak, 1-8 champion alumna Jeff Jennifer Sampson. She's making a difference closer to home. She's in Dallas. She is CEO and president of United Way of Metropolitan Dallas. It's the largest non-governmental funder of programs in the Metroplex to improve human flourishing, education, income, health. Or consider alumna Christine Henry. She co-founded Royal Family Productions, a nonprofit theater company in New York. Over the past six years, Royal Family has produced over 300 shows, and it has created over 1,000 jobs. And it's role enrolled hundreds upon hundreds of students in its educational outreach programs. Many 1-8 stories have co-stars. After all, it was John Dunn who famously wrote, no man is an island. And so too, the great Christian writer, Henry Nouwen, reminds us that Jesus chose to send out the 12 disciples in pairs. Nouwen writes, we cannot bring the good news on our own. We do well to find a 1-8 friend. The good news is, 1-8 offers unlimited travel opportunities. We will be living, you will be living in your own Jerusalem. What 1-8 tells us is we have to be willing to leave those comforts of Jerusalem, perhaps for two weeks or three weeks, perhaps for longer. But we are to all go out to Judea and Samaria. We are indeed to go to the inns of the earth. In Baylor terms, we are to fling the green and gold afar. We are to light the ways of time. But please remember, as the chairman urged and as Tommy Liu will urge you, please return to your home base. Your Jerusalem has been right here. Your Baylor, which now sends you forth. God bless each and every one of you as you now begin your on 1-8 journey. Congratulations.